Hi, hello, welcome to Home School this year, Class 9 Mathematics, NCRT or CBSC board. We are in our Chapter 5 Triangles and your exercise 5.2, third problem. A, B, C is an isosceles triangle. What do you mean by isosceles triangle? Two sides are equal in which altitudes B and C F are drawn. B, E and C F are drawn to equal sides A, C and A, B. In this triangle A, B, C, which are equal sides A, B and A, C. And what did they give here? Show that these altitudes are equal. Understand the problem carefully? We have a triangle ABC which is an isosceles triangle where sides AB is equal to AC. Altitudes B and CF are given in this triangle. You need to prove these altitudes are equal. How can we prove this? Let's have a rough figure. EF, this is altitude B, C. And I take another triangle in this. B, C, E. Look here carefully. B, C, B, C. Common side. Right? And this is... Altitude is perpendicular. This is right angle. This is right angle. One corresponding angles and corresponding sides pair are equal. Now, if these two sides are equal, if in a triangle, if A, B, C, A, B equal to A, C given. Immediately what do you remember? If two sides are equal, then their opposite angles are equal. So, I can say angle B equal to angle C. That only right here. Angle B equal to angle C. Right? Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. By AAS rule, I can say these two triangles are congruent. If they are congruent by CPCT, I can equate other sides or other angles. Therefore, CF is equal to BE. Therefore, the altitudes are equal. This is the thing we need to prove in problem children. First, you need to understand the figure. What given, how we need to do the problem. Solution. Given, given ABC is an isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle in which B and CF are altitudes and AC is equal to AB. We need to prove, to prove, to prove that altitudes are equal. Where are altitudes? CF is equal to BE. Let's start our proof here. Understand carefully. Whatever given in the problem, we write in the given data. To prove, what we need to prove, we write in to prove. And proof, we start comparing the triangles. In an isosceles triangle, ABC, given AC is equal to AB. What did they give? AC is equal to AB. Then, I can say that angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Why? Angles opposite to opposite to equal sides of a triangle 
of a triangle are equal. Next, sides equal, angles equal, we have proved. Now, consider the triangle, consider triangle BFC and triangle CEB. B, F, C and C, E, B. Write it here. What did they give now? There are altitudes given. So I can write angle B, F, C is equal to angle C, E, B. This is given. And next, angle A, B, C is equal to Angle ACB. I cannot write this angles in this triangle. Show me A. We don't have A here. So up to A in order of extending this angle. Just cut out at F. Right here. Angle FBC is equal to angle ECB. We have proved that. Next one. Side BC is equal to CB. Common side. Common side. Therefore, triangle BFC is congruent to triangle CEB. By what? By which rule? By angle angle side rule. I can say these two triangles are congruent. If they are congruent, what you can say? If they are congruent by CPCT, I will say that CF is equal to BE. Therefore, altitudes are equal. Hence, it is proved. Fourth problem just reverse of the third problem. There they have given it is an isosceles triangle. Prove altitudes equal. But now this problem. Altitudes equal given. We need to prove the triangle is isosceles. Let's read the problem. ABC is a triangle. In which altitudes BE and CF. To sides AB and AC are equal. Understand here, AC and AB are not equal. Which are equal here? B and CF are equal. Altitudes equal given. Right, what we need to prove? Show that first one, triangle ABE. Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF. Let's draw the triangle separately here. A, E, B. Right angle. And then one more. A, F, C. These two are right angle. This is common angle. And then what did they give? B is equal to C, F. Directly I can say here. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. These two triangles are congruent. If they are congruent, by CPCT, what you can say? Other sides are equal. Which sides equal? You will say AB equal to AC. It makes an isosceles triangle. That's it. Understand the problem carefully and then start solving. Given ABC is a triangle. ABC is a triangle in which altitudes... Altitudes BE is equal to CF. These altitudes which are lying on AC and AB are equal given. That means sides not equal. Altitudes are equal. To prove. To prove. First one. Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF. And you can write the two cases. AB equal to AC. That is ABC is an isosceles.
isosceles triangle. Let's start the proof here. Consider, consider triangle ABE and uh, let me write here ABE and triangle ACF. Consider the triangle ABE and triangle ACF. What all we know here? I will say angle BAE equal to angle CEF. Reason this angle is common for two triangles. Right here common. Angle AEB is equal to angle AFC. Altitudes. Altitude angle is 90 degree. Altitudes angle is 90 degrees. They have given. Next. Next what you can prove here. Side. Which side? Altitudes are equal given. BE is equal to CF. This is already given. Now what you can say? Corresponding triangles. Angles equal to angles equal and sides are equal. By angle, angle, side rule, I can say the two triangles are congruent. Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF. That means by angle, angle, side rule, these two triangles are congruent. This is the first proof we already proved. Come to the second proof. How can we prove this? We know. We know. By CPCT. Corresponding parts of a congruent triangles. By CPCT. Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF. Then by CPCT what you can say? Corresponding sides or corresponding parts you can make equal. So which sides I need? AB is equal to AC. What is AB and what is AC? These two, these two sides are equal. If two sides of a triangle are equal then it is called as a isosceles triangle. Therefore, ABC is an isosceles triangle. We made congruent by CPCT are the two sides equal. That two sides are equal means they are isosceles. Therefore, hence it is proved. That's it. Fifth problem ABC and DBC. Observe in figure. ABC and DBC are two isosceles triangles. This is one triangle. This is one triangle. This indicates AB side is equal to AC. And in this triangle, DB equal to DC. On the same base, BC. These two triangles are lying on the same base, BC. Show that angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. In your textbook, they have given directly angle like this. If this symbol indicates, these two angles are already equal. These are already equal, it indicates. But they did not give us equal. What did they give? These two sides are equal. Then these two angles are equal. And these two sides are equal. These two angles are equal equal. In an isosceles triangle, if two sides are equal, then their opposite angles are equal. According to that, these pair of angles are equal. What we need to prove? We need to prove this complete angle is equal to this angle. Let's start here our solution. Given, given ABC and 
D, B, C are two isosceles triangles. Are two isosceles triangles lying on the same base B, C. On same base B, C. To prove, what we need to prove? To prove angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. Let us start our proof. How can we find out? We know that isosceles triangle that is in triangle ABC they have given that AB is equal to AC. That means if two sides are equal then their opposite angles are equal. Angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Mark it first equation. The next in triangle, next triangle. Uh, DBC or BDC, anything is okay? What did they give here? DB is equal to DC. If DB equal to DC, what you can say? Their opposite angles, that is angle DBC is equal to angle DCB. Mark the second equation. If I try to add these two equations, add equation 1 and 2. How will you add LHS side? LHS side you need to add RHS, RHS side. That is angle ABC plus angle DBC is equal to angle ACB plus angle DCB. What is angle ABC plus angle DBC? It will be angle ABD. And now what is angle ACB plus angle DCB? It will be angle ACD. Just look over the proof. What we need to prove? Angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. That's all. That is the thing we need to prove. Therefore, Hence, it is proved. Very simple. Within two lines, you can end this problem. Observe here once again. There are two isosceles triangles lying on a same base. You need to prove that this angle equal to this angle. So, isosceles triangle is sides equal, opposite angles equal, you can say. Mark it first equation. And in this triangle, opposite angles equal, mark it second equation. Adding 1 and 2, we get angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. With this, we are going to end our session, children. In our next session, we are going to complete this exercise. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all. Oh, 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 oh,